Hello everyone, I'm Gabe. In this video, after a bit of waiting, I will be showing you how to make an improved medium engine design that is hand cranked. And I will be describing you the process of how to make it and how to design it. Anyways, let's jump into the engine. As you can see, uh, this design is a uh, much more, let's say, streamlined, uh, maybe even uh, simpler in some aspects. As you can see, it's uh, using it's the, a very similar mechanism to what it was using last time. But some of you suggested me that uh, I did not need any comparators for the blaze burners. Furthermore, uh, this uh, engine design also skips uh, the problems that have been uh, created by stress being too much for a hand crank by simply having a clutch that uh, gets unpowered whenever the uh, engine starts. Now let's see in, in action. Of course uh, you will have to open the valve as you can see here. This of course is a fluid valve and it has to be adjacent to some uh, water. Now, the process of uh, turning on the engine is the same. You will uh, rotate the hand crank and uh, once the arms of the engine start turning, as you can see I also got an advancement, uh, it, the whole process for uh, refueling will start. As you can see this is way simpler uh, as it uh, did not have any breakage uh, of the hand cranks. Let's just get it back. Uh, and uh, it also doesn't involve uh, weird mechanics uh, which the last one did. I'm still looking at how the mechanical arm works with uh, no limitations and uh, I suggest that if you want to use coal or charcoal more efficiently um, you might want to use comparators to check if the blaze burners are um, fired or not let's say as you can see this does uh, use up a lot of charcoal Anyways, if you want to see the resources on uh, how to make this engine, they're here. I've div divided this in basically three parts. This is uh, the main part, you see the uh, the fluid tanks for the steam engine, the steam engine itself. There's a uh, the bunch of uh, fluid manipulation. There's the burners, here's a wrench which is necessary. Uh, or well, not necessary, it's very useful for uh, these two, which are me mechanical pumps. As you can see, they are opposite to each other in terms of direction. Uh, this is useful because um, basically, if it wasn't, if it was uh, the other way around, it will be it would be uh, pushing water in uh, here rather than pushing in here. Uh, I've also noticed that it's pretty slow, so it's not working at max capacity. Uh, if you do want to make it work at max capacity, actually, you would probably want to have uh, a... How are they called? They It's uh, basically the one recipe that uses uh, the very new fancy uh, precision mechanism. Here, the rotation speed controller. And, uh, the rotation speed controller works by putting a cogwheel uh, on it. I decided on not putting it because I wanted uh, the system to be as simple as possible, which is already pretty much not simple. Although you can see basically what stuff does what. But anyways, this is uh, the stuff you need to use. Yeah, there are some encased chain drives. Basically, I believe uh, the highest tier of stuff you would need is brass for the mechanical arm. 
Although if you have other mods, you would you could probably be able to fuel the blaze burners using stuff like the pipes as a mod, uh, which is uh, basically item transport. There we go. There's also like other pipe mod like this one, although it's your decision on which to use. Then of course there's the uh, mechanical arm uh, section. The, which can be, of course, replaced by pipes, as I said. Uh, this requires a speedometer, which is not actually very much used in other crate builds. It's uh, crafted with this recipe. Now, uh, these stuff, uh, the, the redstone part of this, the logic, basically assures that the engine is on, or, well, it's rotating, by uh, just checking the gauge pretty simple mechanism, basically it inverts whatever it reads from uh, the gauge. Of course, uh, if you know clutches, off uh, means uh, freely rotating and on means blocking. This, uh, I believe it's s simple to understand, it's uh, to block the clutch from uh, interacting with any other mechanism or uh, stuff that may be attached to the engine itself. For example, if you have crushing gears, that would be very detrimental to your uh, starting up process. Anyways, uh, the mechanical arm is connected to these four blaze burners, and uh, the, this uh, very weirdly placed uh, depot, which is under an inside funnel. Of course, this chest is full with charcoal, but if you wanted uh, to have an infinite fuel source, you could just connect this either by conveyor belt, something like a line here, or by the usage of some other transportation mod, to a tree farm, or something like that. Of course, uh, what is something people don't realize is that you don't have to use charcoal, like you can use saplings or oak planks or something if you want, which might be more efficient. Anyways, the last part of this is the decoration. These three shafts, I believe, are used over here, yes? These are the uh, basically for um, aesthetic purposes, to make it so that the gears do not seem as if they are, they're flying or they're very unstable. Um, the girders and the metal black brackets have the same purpose. Uh, the other bracket or whatever is here, which, as you can see, looks very nice. And then there is a gearbox and an underside casing. This underside casing is over here. It's used uh, to give uh, basically a place for the mechanical arm to stand on. And actually, the other yeah, the other uh, gearbox is this one so that you can uh, place uh, the hand crank like this instead of uh, having to like, you know, that. Right, and uh, that's basically it. It's a really simple design, honestly. Very, uh, design is very human, as you might say. But yeah, it's been, uh, it's been it. Thank you for watching, or actually, maybe I should say uh, thank you for your patience. Ah, alright, see you guys in the next video.